So, in the last video what I talked about is how to do any old vector question. So I went through all the kind of basic stuff about how to get around a shape using vectors and all sorts of notation, how to write vectors and all the different rules related to that. So that covered the basics and all I really want to talk about in this video are ti the tiny details of how do you deal with bits of vectors using midpoints or fractions or ratios of vectors. They're all different ways of saying bits of vectors. So let's get on with the question. The first thing I want to do is get from O to M. Now you'll notice I kind of missed out all this detail. I'll talk about that in a bit, right? Um, but hopefully most of most of it you kind of breeze over yourself like oh okay write the vector in terms of L and N all these questions all vector questions are basically going to say use the vectors that are in the question yeah that's all that means anyway let me get on with it O to M O to M I want to get from there to there I can take two different routes I can go this way or I can go that way and like I said in the previous video like I explained in the previous video with examples whichever route you take it's going to give you the same answer. So I ended up taking this route. No particular reason, just went that way. Up from O to K, K to M, like it says here. O to M, I took the route O to K and K to M. And of course, put a plus sign like you do in these questions. Now, O to K is pretty simple, but K to M, well, O to, o to K is simple because there's a vector going from there to there, it's vector L, that's really easy. Uh, but there's no vector going from K to M that you can see already. But what we can do is realize when you work out a bit of a line, like uh, using a midpoint of a line or some other fraction of a line, okay, it's obviously part of a line. So K to M is actually part of a bigger line called K to N. Okay, so the, that's the kind of thing you have to pay attention to, and you can work out k to n. So that's the general technique. If you've got a bit of a line, look to work out the whole line first, and then work out that bit of it. So work out the whole line, and say how much is that k to n? Well, that's half of it, so half of the whole line. Okay, let's get on with doing it. So o to k. O to K is simply L from there to there. It follows the vector L in the same direction as L, like the arrow shows. So it's just L, plain old L. And K to M, which it says is half of K to N, is, well, K to N is minus, well, K to N is minus L plus N. Opposite direction of this vector L and the same direction as this vector n. Okay, so to get from k to n, I had to follow the vectors round, like I said in the previous video. The vec uh, vectors are like train tracks. So if you're a train and you want to get from k to n, you have to follow the train tracks. You can't just go through some field if there's no train tracks there. Anyway, so we're getting minus l plus n is k to n, but k to m is half of k to n. So I write half of minus l plus n, half of minus L plus N. And then you just simplify that just like you do with normal algebra. So this is L plus half of minus L. So L minus half L is half L. And then you do half times N, which is half N. So this just simplifies to that. So you've just worked out O to M. O to M equals half L plus half N. Now if that sounds complicated, let's just quickly go through that really quickly again uh, O to M is that plus that that is obviously L and that is half of this bigger line with this bigger line K to N is really easy is minus L plus N so it's L plus half of minus L plus N and that simplifies to this stuff there next bit O to E so instead of O to M O to E it's almost the same thing really. Uh, where is E on this line anyway? Uh, it says the ratio KE to EN is 3 to 1. Okay, so KE to E to N is 3 to 1. Okay, so this K to N line is split in this ratio 3 to 1. Now, 
if you remember how ratios work that basically means you've got three parts out of four because three plus one gives you four parts all together and so k to e is three out of four three quarters of the line k to n and e to n is one out of the four pieces or one quarter of k to n just to make that clear right so k ratio when you do, you've got ratios we're just basically talking about fractions even midpoints are fractions of a line midpoints is half of a line right so let's continue working out the root and what route did I take this time I did o to k again so how did I get to o to e I could have done this route you know go from o to n n to e uh, but instead I went o to k k to e there's no particular reason maybe I just copied the previous example a little bit anyway so um, I go this way that bit is just L and this bit K to E is just three quarters of K to N okay like I just explained a second ago so K to N like we said before is minus L plus N and K to E is three quarters of that so I write three quarters outside the bracket and like before I simplify this stuff so L plus three quarters of minus L so L minus three quarters L is one quarter L and then you've got this three quarters N left over over there and you've worked it out so O to E is equal to this stuff and just to be clear if I went the other way around I would have got the same answer a quarter L plus three quarters N if you've got any questions feel free to ask by the way in the YouTube video just comment